So, you have a new James Bond movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. Amazing. So, Casino Royale was a huge success, right? So, there's a lot of pressure to follow it up strong. Agreed. So, James Bond is chasing the guy, and they're shooting at each other. Oh, just jumping right into it. Okay. And he's shooting, but James Bond shoots too, so he gets the guy, and then he gets away. I'm not, okay, it's kind of hard to follow what's going on here. And so, James Bond opens the trunk of his car, and who's inside? Mr. White. Oh, okay. I'm not, I don't, I'm not sure who that is. So, you know, he's the guy from the very end of the last movie, you know, James Bond caught up to him because he's kind of responsible for the death of Vesper. Oh, okay, I'm not sure people will remember exactly what happened in the last one. It's been a couple of years and these things are usually kind of, you know, standalone. Oh, well, let's hope they do or this will be very disorienting. Fingers crossed. So they're interrogating this guy and he reveals that he's part of this organization and they have people everywhere. Oh, is it Spectre? Do we have that rights issue figured out so we can legally use Spectre in a movie yet? Not yet, no. Okay, well then it's a completely different organization with the exact same concept. Oh, okay. So after this guy reveals that they have people everywhere, this guy that's been M's bodyguard for like eight years pulls out a gun. Oh no, so he shoots Bond? No, he shoots a random guy. Eight years undercover and he blows it on this moment just to shoot a random guy. He does, yeah, and also he shoots M. Oh, is she okay? She's completely fine by the next scene, yeah. Okay, bulletproof vest? I guess so, yeah, we're not gonna explain it. So anyway, James Bond chases this guy down and he kills him. Okay, so two big chases already. I'm still not sure where we're going story-wise. Yeah, same here, but we'll get somewhere eventually. I'm almost sure of it. All right, fun. So then M reveals that they place trackers on some cash and there's a stack of it in Haiti in a hotel. Oh, okay, yeah, that sounds like a great lead for whatever is going on. Yeah, it is. So then Bond goes to this hotel and you know that cool fight scene from the Bourne Identity? Yeah, that's a great scene. It's an amazing scene, so copy-paste. Oh, so yeah, now his one lead in Haiti is dead. Oh man, it's gonna be tough for him to do anything story-wise without a lead. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, he's just kind of walking down the street with this dead guy's suitcase and a plot point drives up to him. Oh, that worked out great. This guy's such a good spy. He is, yeah. So this plot point's name is Camille and she thinks he's this geologist she was supposed to meet up with. Well, well, thank God she was planning on meeting somebody whose face she had never seen before. Yeah, it worked out great. So they're in the car together and he opens up this briefcase and he finds out that the geologist was supposed to kill her. Oh, the plot that appeared out of nowhere has already twisted. It has. So then he gets out of the car because she tries to kill him and then he follows her to these docks. And what's going on there? Oh, there are a bunch of shady types there and criminals and a guy sweeping the air. Oh, air sweeping is tight. And turns out this woman was going to see the bad guy of the movie. Oh, and what's his deal? Well, he wants to put this Bolivian dictator back in charge in exchange for a little portion of desert. Oh, and what's his name? Is it something exciting like we usually have? Like Le Chiffre or Dr. No? Oh, you're gonna like this. His name is Dominic. Oh. Dominic Green. He's a short, short little guy. Short little guy from France. His name's Dominic Green. I, okay, does he have a big evil plan though? Like what's that desert thing about? Oh, you know he has an evil plan. Oh boy. This guy wants to gain control of a lot of the Bolivian fresh water supply and then he's gonna overcharge for it. I, yeah, that's pretty evil, I guess. Yeah, very, very unfair pricing. It's just that James Bond villains are usually a little more over the top, you know, higher stakes. People in Bolivia have to drink water, you know, so they have to buy it from him. Of course, yeah. And this guy, Dominic, he's gonna, you know, government spending's gonna be all out of whack because of him. Sure, sure. Gonna be some real complicated budgeting that they're gonna have to do. Yeah, no, yeah, I get that. Because of Dominic's plan. Okay. Anyway, so Dominic finds out that Camille was just hooking up with him to get close to this Bolivian dictator guy because he killed her whole family. Oh my God. So Dominic gives her to this dictator guy and Bond has to go save her. Because James Bond is watching all this. Yeah, this is the, this is the story now because Bond kind of stumbled into it. Sure. So he goes on this crazy boat chase to save her and then he does and then he just kind of hands her unconscious body off to some guy. Doesn't he want information from her or something? I guess not. Huh, okay. So then James Bond goes to the opera. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, but it's for work. I'm sure he enjoys it, but he's mostly working. Oh, yeah, okay, right. It turns out Dominic is secretly meeting people there, and they're all kind of talking with these secret headsets. Very sneaky. Yeah, so then Bond gets pictures of their faces by taking pictures of the backs of their heads. That doesn't make any sense. Spy technology. Still, though, that's not how things work. And then there's this little chase scene and this other agent guy ends up dead so M needs Bond to come in for questioning. Oh she does? She does. So she sends one single attractive redhead to bring him in. Does 
has M not met James Bond? So then Bond sleeps with the attractive woman. Yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously he does. So obviously M is disappointed that this didn't work out. What did she think was gonna happen? Unclear. So then later Bond and Camille are in this plane, but they get shot down. Oh no. But luckily they manage to jump out of the plane and open their parachutes just a few feet from the ground. Oh, that would definitely still kill them. Yeah, 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 but it's not gonna. Why? Because. That works. So then they discover that Dominic used dynamite to dam these fresh water supplies and monopolize them. And nobody in the country checked to see where the water had been diverted to. Apparently not. So then later the bad guys meet at this desert hotel, right? Right. And one bad guy explains to the other that this whole place is powered by these super explosive hydrogen fuel cells. Oh, I wonder if that's gonna come into play later. It will. It will. Oh, well, thank God the bad guys had an awkward conversation about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what happens next? Well, Bond and Camille have to sneak into this hotel. Oh, so they gotta take down the security outside? No, there's no security outside, so they just they just go right in. Well, fantastic. And so then they both get into these very personal fight scenes, you know? She fights against the guy that killed her entire family. Wow, yeah. And James Bond, oh boy, he's gonna fight against this tiny Frenchman he just found out about a couple days earlier. Uh, okay, I kind of feel like James Bond fighting a tiny Frenchman he barely knows isn't the intense moment you're making it out to be. Well, the tiny Frenchman makes shrieking noises when he attacks. Does that help? That helps a lot, actually. Anyway, so then the fuel cells explode. You mentioned those. And then Dominic's gonna try to escape through the desert, but Bond is gonna catch up to him and interrogate him about Quantum, which is the organization. Oh man, how does that interrogation go? Oh, we're not gonna show that. Oh, we're not. You know, we're just gonna kinda cut forward and Dominic's gonna be like, I told you everything you wanted to know about Quantum, and Bond's gonna be like, yes, you did. Kinda wish we'd get to see it. Yeah, but we're not gonna. Why? Oh, cause I don't know what's gonna happen in the sequel yet. Oh, very smart. So then using this mystery information, Bond tracks down this guy who was also kind of responsible for the death of his love interest in the last movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was super depressed about her death this whole movie. Very sad, very gloomy. So none of that, you know, charming, fun James Bond people know. I guess that'll be fun to watch. And so, yeah, that's about it. What do you think? Well, I mean, it sounds a little clunky and low stakes, to be honest, but we can have writers work on it throughout the process, you know, really elevate it. Oh, 100%. I don't see why not. Hey everybody, Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that video. And if you liked it, feel free to click the like button and the subscribe button and all, you know, buttons of that nature. There are also like hundreds of other episodes on the channel that you can check out if you want. Also leave a comment down below letting me know what other movies you want to see pitches for. And check back soon for a new one, because there's going to be new ones, you know? Okay, bye.